This video shows how to replace the M.2 2230 solid state drive or SSD with an M.2 2280 SSD on an Inspiron 14 plus 7420. Before you begin, create a recovery drive and back up all data before removing the SSD. To enter service mode, press and hold the B key on the keyboard and then press the power button. Now the computer will boot up and the owner tag information is displayed on the screen. Press any key to proceed. The computer will emit three short beeps and shut down. Ensure that you always use ESD protection when working inside the computer. To begin, loosen the two captive screws that secure the base cover to the palm wrist and keyboard assembly. Then remove the five screws that also secure the base cover to the assembly. Using a plastic scribe, pry the base cover from the top left at the hinge and then continue to work on the sides to open the base cover. Then slide and lift the base cover off the palm resting keyboard assembly. Remove the screw that secures the thermal bracket and the M.2 mounting bracket to the palm resting keyboard assembly. Remove the thermal bracket from the M.2 mounting bracket. Slide the M.2 2230 SSD out of the SSD slot and lift the SSD assembly off the system board. You've successfully removed the M.2 2230 SSD from the M.2 slot. Now, let's install the M.2 2280 SSD. Locate the notch on the SSD. Then, align the notch with the tab on the SSD slot and slide the SSD into the slot on the system board. Place the thermal bracket on the SSD and align the screw holes on the thermal bracket and the SSD with the screw hole on the system board. Replace the screw that secures the thermal bracket and the M.2 2280 SSD to the system board. Next, place and snap the base cover into place on the palm resting keyboard assembly. Tighten the two captive screws on the base cover and replace the five screws that secure the base cover to the palm resting keyboard assembly. Finally, connect the power adapter and press the power button to power on the computer and exit from service mode. Note. The computer will only turn on if the power adapter is connected. If you need more information or assistance, go to dell.com forward slash support.